Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Contraptions Workshop DLC in Fallout 4. Now first off, I will review the DLC on its own, and then later we will address what I think the real problem is with this add-on. The Contraptions Workshop DLC adds a plethora of new gadgets and doohickeys to your settlements in Fallout 4, allowing you to perform new fun activities as well as construct more complex buildings. They've added in new warehouse building pieces, scaffolding building pieces, boxcar building pieces, and my personal favorite, the elevator, which will make settlement builders very happy as it allows for more variety and easier access to other points in your settlements. We also see the addition of builders which will allow you to construct weapons, ammunition, food, and armor in exchange for junk you find around the wasteland. These are pretty simple to set up but there's a lot more you can do with them such as add conveyor belts and sorters to make it prettier and more efficient. We also have new logic gates will allow you to bring out your inner coder and create complicated scenarios which will trigger certain things to activate. This would take a little bit of time to explain so I won't do so in this video but people will be able to do pretty cool things with these. On to some of the more fun features we have. Displays, which will allow you to show off your weapons and armor on racks and mannequins which you can place around your settlement. A cool feature that I'm sure many will put to good use, although my armor displays would not work properly for me for some reason. We also have the pillory, which you can force one of your settlers onto so that you may enact your most sadistic punishment dreams. Want to spank Nick Valentine with a sharp weapon? Go ahead. Damn! The track kit is an interesting new addition which you can use to create a track for your new steel balls to roll down. I also cannot wait to see what kind of tracks and alternate uses people will end up making with this. Of course, I'm not much for constructing my own personal tracks, so the one you see here in the video is pretty pathetic, but go look on YouTube and I'm sure there are some way cooler ones. There's also a new turret, the paintball gun. Not very effective against anything except your vision, which is a pretty lame addition in my opinion. We have fireworks. Yes, you can now build a firework mortar and load it up with colorful fireworks to launch into the sky. There are only a few colors available at the moment, but I'm sure modders will be quick to add more. You can also fire weather changing shells with these firework mortars to change the weather to either clear skies, rainy, or even a radiation storm. I think this feature is just a nice touch to the firework mortar, although Fallout lore fanatics will most likely be smashing their face into a nearby wall. Last but not least, we have the junk mortar, which you can load up with, well, anything, and launch it into the sky. Hook this up to a terminal to change the angle and velocity of whatever you're firing, and hook it up to some electricity to launch it. This is one of the coolest additions included with the DLC. I absolutely love launching myself or a companion into the sky, as you can see them ragdoll like crazy, although I do wish you could launch things further. All in all, as a standalone DLC, it delivers a few hours of fun to people who are big fans of settlement construction, but offers little to no additional gameplay to those like me who don't really care about settlement construction. I would give this DLC a 4 out of 10. It has some nifty features, but doesn't add much to the game at all, which brings me right into my rant. These workshop DLCs are basically just mods that you can obtain for free using the Fallout 4 Nexus, except you have to pay for them here. In fact, I personally have downloaded mods that accomplish several of the things this DLC offers, such as elevators, displays, extra crafting, and more. These DLCs appeal to a very small audience of Fallout 4 fans and don't bring in much enjoyment to the core audience of the game. If you're a big fan of settlement building in Fallout 4 and you play on console, I'd say this is worth the $5 price tag. Otherwise, it's just not worth it. If you play on PC or you don't care about settlements, just skip this DLC. It's not worth your purchase. Anyways, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in a comment down below and I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. If you'd like updates on my videos and other strange posts, make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Guides for Us All, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.